Hello everyone, Dead Runner DIY Detailer here. Next mini project to keep me occupied while uh, the Forest of Back to Life project's on hold. That's away at some professional welders at the moment, being chopped to pieces and lots of big bits of metal welded in. And we'll be popping to the uh, welding shop to uh, show you an update on that um, and to take some photographs and videos of it just for the, for the record really, for the log. Um, but in the meantime, uh, we were looking at getting a new barbecue. Um, I quite like my old one. It's an Outback. It's a three burner hooded barbecue. Love it. We've had it 13 years uh, and it's just starting to, to rust apart and fall apart. The burners are gone. You can't replace them or with official spares anymore. Uh, and where the supports are for the baskets um, and the burners have rusted away. So my plan was to strip it all back, uh, weld on some new brackets, repaint it all, get it all up and running again and make it last two, three, four, five years maybe. Um, to start it off with, I've found some um, universal replacement burners on Amazon and I want to see if they fit and if they work. And if they do, that's the green light for the whole project and we'll crack on. So let's take a look at the burners. So here we are. You can vary the length of them. Literally by sliding them to the length that you need. A little screw goes in here, there's a pack of screws in this kit and uh, holds together the length that you need and you alter the amount of air that goes in with the gas that mixes with the gas this should slide over the, the, the gas outlet um, lift this screw and alter tune the, uh, the the flame mixture so you get a nice blue flame coming out here uh, like the old Bunsen burners in the chemi uh, chemistry lab days and once you've got that tighten the screw down do the same for all the uh, replacement burners and uh, Bob is your uncle I mean, they look alright as burners. Uh, what, what can a stainless steel replacement burner look like, really? But this is a pack of four. I think it was uh, eighteen ninety nine delivered. So pretty good value, uh, to be fair. If it rescues a barbecue and saves me having to spend two or three hundred, then good news. So I'm just going to do a test fit, show you around the barbecue, what's wrong with it, and do a test fit. So this is it. Looking sorry for itself. If it does work, I will get a new cover. This is an Outback Spirit 3 burner. It's a lot to do. We can strip all this back. Strip all this back as well. We Re coat that. And we're going to strip all these down and uh, re coat them. Yeah. We can still get these racks, which is pretty useful. So I'll, I'll just replace that, all being well. Um, but you can see all the, the paint is all flaked off here over the years. So we get the old wire brush down on them, uh, on the drill, sand all it down, put some high temperature paint on it. Mm, let's have a go. A lot of the rock baskets have completely gone. So you, you can see the, the trouble we're going to have with this. So these are the... This did use a house or support the burners and they're falling through. That side's okay. There's a lot of work to do here, stripping it all back, but I'm probably gonna weld some steel in here. Let's take this one out. That's the diameter I need. Well reasonably similar. Over the gas distribution bar, and then extend the length of it. We're going to need it to be longer. Get my angle iron welded onto that. We'll, we'll, we'll manage that. But for now, let's leave it at that sort of length. Let's arrange it so the holes line up. And let's tighten them up.
regulator's knackered. Okay, it's arrived. Um, Project Barbecue carries on. So, big shout out to Huddersfield Gas for sending this out to me nice and quick. This is the clip on uh, regulator that I need. Built in taps already, crimped on to a hose with a quarter inch BSP fitting. Hopefully, that's right. If not, I'll pull this all off and put a new um, hose clip on there. I need this regulator, I believe. So we've got ourselves a new gas cylinder, we're going to chuck that into this bad boy and see if we can finally get something working. Well, it's not all leaking like crazy, listen. What we're going to do though, uh, if these new valves, old valves work, with the new reg, then great. I didn't need to buy the valves, never mind. Uh, however, we're going to take all this rotten stuff out here. You see how dead it is. And we're going to so just cut it back there. Dead easy to probably bend it back, it's so rusted. But we're going to put a box section, got a half inch, uh, inch box section rather, all the way along here, weld it along here, weld it along here, paint it all up, strip this back all around here, paint it all up with the high temperature barbecue paint that we bought. Um, and along here, just get it all looking a bit nicer. The outside's not too bad, so we'll just do this edge and inside here. Um, if all that works well, we'll get a new warming rack, new lava rock uh, holders, and we'll be able to barbecue to our heart's content for a few more years yet. Pretty encouraging. Let's change this stuff out. all the old valves returned they all work fine not letting by at all uh, I'm now going to get all three burners temporarily put in here and see if that works so three new burners test fitted gas is on it's, uh, it's crazy. to behave better. This is on full gas now. Doesn't try and blow itself out. That's what I'm looking for. So here you go. I've taken it almost two thirds of the way closed. Let's see what that looks like. Pretty happy with that. So phase one, the investigation, and does it work? ability feasibility test is done it's all good so next stage we're going to cut that support bar out weld in the new piece paint it all up strip everything out paint it up um, and we're good happy days 